Hey everybody, welcome back to the Overwatch channel on YouTube, also at overwatchproject.com. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so I had a couple of Jehovah's Witnesses come to my door today. And I had about an hour long or so discussion with them, I actually engaged them in an intellectual discussion. And while I don't believe I changed their minds about anything, I they did leave here uh, thinking because um, I could tell that you know some of the things I said to them provoked thought. We had a uh, it was a very pleasant discussion, um, and this brings up a question I have: Have you ever talked to somebody that it actually looks like there is no thinking going on, like a completely vacant person? And there's a lot of these people out there. I've talked to them. I've worked with some of them. Some of them may even be in my not-so-immediate family, but <laughs> people I'm related to. So in, um, in asking this question, as we discuss the true nature of reality and the true nature of our consciousness here on the Overwatch channel, does everyone have the same consciousness just because they're human? Do, does everyone have an individualized consciousness? Um, now, many times you can tell, you know, somebody's very individualized. They're, they're, they have a lot of thinking. They're going on. They may not. You may not agree, or they may be uh, have founded or anchored themselves into a false belief of something. And there's cognitive biases to get in their way. But you can tell that your discussion, when you discuss things with them, there is movement. There is uh, reasoning going on. There's some people that are seem to be completely void of any actual reasoning. They're so robotic. And um, there's been articles written... You know, some some people when they talk about like uh, a sociopath, they'll say it's a soulless person, um, which kind of makes sense. But there's actually like a concept out there of a soulless being, like a person that has maybe a rudimentary consciousness, but it's not actually like the same kind of consciousness that probably a lot of the viewers on my channel have. Uh, thinking, actual thinking. Uh, fluid consciousness that is able to um, interpret reality and have its uh, have its you know self generating its course through life and and have it adjust through reasoning have its mind changed mindfulness and when I say mind I distinguish between mind and brain brain being the physical, um, body and brain and the mind being actually what your spirit thinks with when it's out of the body in the near-death experience for example if somebody ever ever has that experience I haven't but I mean I've read so many cases of witness witness to uh, NDEs that uh, you know it's clear that there's some other thinking higher order of thinking going on but yeah, you watch some of these Hollywood celebrities, not not all of them, but many of them, and, and the people that are involved in the entertainment industry, and they also seem to be quite mindless many times if they're not being scripted or directed. And, and sometimes I've had to wonder whether or not um, people that are great actors are great because they're, they're just vacant, empty shells, and they're able to be... Uh, turned into whatever they need to be in order to produce such great acting. Uh, uh, a lot of this has been exposed during this whole election cycle because of some of the absolutely asinine things you've seen these actors do. The, the funny thing and thing I can't get my head around, although it kind of like makes a little sense as far as like, and I'm not saying these people are, are all sociopaths, but they certainly have a certain behavior that's common with uh, antisocial uh, personality disorder or, or being a sociopath. In, in that they, they're able to make stories, fictional stories, and, and the only way a, a really good fictional story works in a movie is if you can relate to it somehow. So they, they're able to make these um, incredible incredibly produced video movies 
And uh, obviously, they wouldn't be successful unless the majority of, of people could relate to the story somehow. And yet, they come out in reality with completely opposite thinking when they're exposed, when, they're, when they comment about the world. And you see that there are like a bunch of collectivist, anti-freedom uh, narcissists. And then, and then you look at uh, their work and they're able to play the um, non-narcissist role. And just a classic example would be recently with the whole thing with the Avengers cast in that Save the Day vote and Josh Wheaton. And, and then you look at the movie like Captain America and the Winter Soldier or some of the other Marvel movies and you're like, how the hell could a person make this movie and believe the things that they believe or uh, you know it's just absolutely bizarre so um, yeah I'm just asking the question does everyone have a soul actually now in uh, this uh, I don't just so you know I'm going to link to everything you're seeing on the screen all these tabs I have open I'm going to put in the description section below so you can read these articles for yourself and just because I link to something even on my own website does not necessarily mean that everything in that contained in the person's link is something I agree with. Um, I am able to, you know, look at what somebody says and then compare it to data and evidence. And I hope that you do the same and then see what they're saying may be a far stretch. Uh, they may be filling in uh, gaps of ignorance with uh, assumptions or, or um, theories that aren't really well grounded. So a lot of this stuff does bleed over into the new age kind of crap. So you have to be able to filter that out. But it's it's simply a matter of using your reason. And I think a lot of people uh, that uh, get that. There's a lot of people out there that actually try to reason and critically think about things. And then these, these people that don't. But they're beyond not reasoning. They, it's like they're incapable of it. And so, yeah. I mean, if you've ever talked to a person like this, you know what I'm talking about. They are almost robotic. It's almost like the AI character in a video game, which is really easily to distinguish between the AI character and a real other person playing. And it's almost like in real life, there's like these people out there that are very like that. I mean, they're just so almost caught in a dialogue loop with you sometimes. It's so bizarre. So what are your thoughts on that? Or does everybody have the same consciousness? Or does some people have a consciousness that's rudimentary, some kind of collective consciousness? Is that why they're so into collectivism instead of individuality, voluntarism, and freedom? Is that why they always pursue these uh, philosophies that end in uh, tyranny and la loss of freedom? Um, or is it just that people have uh, been corrupted by the world so much that they are uh, become... Uh, soulless because their, their their spirit or whatever is drowned out. And uh, in Montauk's article here, he makes a distinguish between a soul and a spirit, making the spirit the truest, highest form of the individual uh, being that's that exists free of the body and brain. But um, I've heard it flipped the other way around too, where people have... So I guess it's just how you define terms. You know, but you get what people are saying. A lot of these terms are interchangeable. Um, but nevertheless, some of these articles are really interesting. Uh, so uh, check them out and um, feel free to uh, share your thoughts below or maybe point me into some other material I could look at. And, uh, and just uh, there's no real um, evidence. Uh, not like near-death experience evidence where you have verified out-of-body cases that there's actually soulless people, but some people behave in such a way that I have to ask the question or at least propose the theory that some people are actually of a different type of consciousness than others. All right, take care. I'll talk to you guys later. See you, bye.